I remember graduating from the University of Arizona, and I wanted to go to law school, but I just didn't think I had the, uh, I just didn't think I had the grades. I wasn't smart enough to go to law school, although I really wanted to go. So you know what I did? I listened to what some of my friends said, you know, blow off law school, go get a job. And I went and worked in the hotel industry for a couple of years. I went up to Lake Tahoe, which was great. Helped open up Caesars Tahoe. And realized after a year and a half, two years, although I love Tahoe, I love skiing, love sailboarding in the summer and getting in 50-day ski seasons in the winter, I realized I didn't want to do that for the rest of my life. But I had listened to what my friends told me I should do based upon my grades, based upon who they thought I was, and went down the wrong path. Now, I learned a lot from the customer service industry. I grew up in the resort industry. So it was a great opportunity to refine my people skills, even though back in the day, that's not really what I was thinking about. But I met a lawyer at Heavenly Valley, which is a ski area at South Shore. And to make a real long story short, he convinced me, Mitch, you know, follow your dreams, go to law school. It just takes commitment. If you're passionate about it, if, if this is what you want to do, then, then you're going to do just fine. And I remember taking his advice and making that, that commitment and following my passion, following my dreams, even though I didn't really think I was equipped to get into law school. But I found a couple of law schools that were interested in having me join them for whatever reason. And I actually loved every minute of it. I didn't like all the hard work. I didn't like the paperwork, but there was something about it that just clicked with me. There are no lawyers in my family, my immediate family that I can think of. And so when I graduated from law school, when I passed the bar, I thought that to be successful, I needed to do what everyone else who I thought was successful, do what they're doing. And that's exactly what I did for about five, from five, six, seven years. But then something happened. And that's what I want to share with you guys. What happened was I realized if you want to blend in, if you want to be like everybody else, then do what everybody else is doing. If you want to give yourself a shot to stand out, if you want to give yourself a shot to, to excel at your craft, whether you're a doctor, a lawyer, a CPA, a musician, an actor, whatever it might be, frankly, if you make donuts for a living, right? What you got to do is give yourself permission to be different. Give yourself permission to do things completely different than everybody else in town. If you're a lawyer, I mean, follow state bar rules. Put your client's best interest before your own. Make sure you're following all the ethics rules, both state and under the ABA. But you know what? Do things different. Switch things up. If you find you're creating content on social media like all the other lawyers, create a different kind of content. Be different. Be unique. Blend your why, your hobbies, your interests into what you're doing. Don't let anybody tell you, convince you, persuade you to be like Johnny down the street or Betty, the senior partner over at the law firm on the other side of town because they're successful. And if you want to get successful, you want to be successful, you got to be like them. It's a bunch of bullshit. That's not the way it works. You guys, give yourself permission to absolutely be yourself and do things different. Check yourself every day. Am I doing what every other lawyer is doing in town to build his or her brand, to market his or her practice, to connect with clients just because every other lawyer is using a certain software package, I should be using it too. Catch yourself and then change things up. Change things up and start being different. Do things your own way. I promise you, if you embrace this mentality, if you embrace this mindset, good things are going to come your way. If you don't, then you're positioning yourself for being average in your industry for the rest of your career. And nobody, I don't want to see that happen. So step up, step out, be different, be unique, believe in who you are, and do things your own way unlike everyone else in town.